school video and this is my school supplies and organisation tips video and I've just got a bunch of like organisation tips and school supplies so I thought I might just make a video on it. This is what I think will help me throughout my school year and I've got everything I need now so I go back tomorrow and this should be uploaded on the... what day is it? This is filmed on the 5th of September so it should be uploaded by tonight but I go back to school on the 6th and I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first thing I think you need is like a school bag, um, book bag, anything like that but I'd recommend going for a big to medium bag. I wouldn't go for a tiny small kind of clutch bag size um, because if you've got like um, binders then you won't be able to fit them inside your bag so that's why I got a big bag. And if you want to see my what's in my school bag video, I'll probably leave an annotation like around here or I'll leave it in the down bar. I'll probably do both to be honest, wherever my hand is. <laughs> school bags that I was looking at, I was looking at really big with lots of space in and I was also looking at ones with different compartments in so you can have one for like your dinner and um, so you can keep like your pencil case and your dinner separate. Um, and unfortunately that bike was out of stock so I just got mine and just go and check that out on another video if you want to see it. And the second thing I would recommend getting is a binder which I just mentioned and mine is from WH Smiths and it's just your basic binder and I'm going to like probably get some plastic, um, some of the plastic wallets that I think they're called plastic sheets and they have like this is plastic and then they actually fit in the holes here so I'm going to get some of them and I really like the print on this folder it's just really bright and it just fits in my bag my bag doesn't zip up but I'm alright with that because then I can just grab it when I need it Oh, and I only got one binder because I'm going to get some I, I don't know what these are called again but they're like sheets of card that have a little tab on and that separate like the plastic wallets and I'm going to get some of them so I only have six like classes that I'm taking this year so I'm just going to separate this folder into six which should be really easy because some classes I don't get like some classes I don't get homework so they're not like my sixth ones I've got more than six don't worry but six just include like coursework and that the second thing I'd recommend is post-it notes and these ones are so cool. They actually fit inside my binder and they have like little holes throughout here for the different like settings where you want it on your binder and it just fits. It fits lovely so I'm just going to stick this probably in the front of the binder because if I have like any English coursework then I can just like stick a post-it note on the corner of the page on um, like the page I need or anything really if I need reminders to stick it in the front of my binder um, so yeah and these were from Tesco's and they were really cheap they are about £1.80 or something like that and I love these so the next thing I've got lots of and they're these different folders so I've got some plastic folder wallets and I love the colours on these and my American friends actually brought these over and I've seen ones like this in like WH Smiths and they're just really basic and I like the colour of this like an apple green and then the next one is a raspberry pink it might be showing up a different colour um, on the camera and the next one's like a bright blue aqua colour and these came in a pack of five but I gave my mum two and I'm sure you can get them in England I swear I've seen them before and I've had them before but I'm not 100% certain and the next like folders I got were from Ikea and I think these were like two pounds something and these are actually paper ones and I brought these for four because they had two different designs they had one with pink on and then one with like it was like cartoon flowers on which I didn't like the like main design one so I got this and it's like um it's a light green color like almost a mint green and it has these like elastic bits and you just like unfold the elastic bits and then you've got like the folder and it just looks like that so you get you stick your folder like work inside and then you like so it doesn't slide out the sides, you just like 
clip it in with that and they're really nice and then also in the pack came a bright orange one and this is like orange is getting my favorite color at the minute and i love this and the next one is so cute um it's got little owls on and i just thought this was great for fall and the one with the owls on has got green elastic on and they are really really good quality like they're bendy but I don't think they'd rip or anything like that so I really like these and in them folders I'm just going to keep any loose sheets of paper in there for like different classes that I have and the next thing is also a folder but it's my homework folder and I haven't had one of these before until I've seen a few beauty gurus having them and it's from WH Smith and it's this nice pink colour and it's got this like elastic design with a plastic safety thing and in this, it is extremely big, like it's got up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. It's got up to 11 like sections and I've only used 6 of them and in it I just put paper like so I've got English, Math, Science, German, French, Spanish and Drama and it's really big, like it opens like, oh what's one of them? It opens like, is that the other way? Uh, anyway, it's like a musical instrument and this is going to be really cool because I'm just going to like take this to school every day and then if I get homework I'm just going to slip it inside the folder and when I come home I'm just going to get my homework folder out and complete any homework I have so I'm not losing sheets of paper or they're getting ruined inside my bag. Um, and also for water spillage, um, this is like, there's hardly, there's not even a hole at the top and it's sealed at the bottom so if water spills in my bag like a water bottle or something and um, then my homework's not going to get damaged and it's really easy to find my homework now so the next things i would recommend are notebooks and i've got three different designs and they're all different so they're like different in size and everything and this is really cute it's just lined paper and it says notes at the top date and number like page number um and you can maybe stick like a, a sticky back sticker on here and then put what is used for like English, like rough notes and stuff like that. And this is from Poundland and it was featured in one of my hauls. And the next one I I did sort of use last year. I did sort of use last year but then I stopped using it and I just used it as like a normal diary. But this year it's going to be super helpful. And I already stuck a sticker on that said, like, I can show you my, that said my name on. Um, and then inside I did like a flower design. And it's really nice because it's got three different sections. And it's got, these are what I was on about to separate the binder. And it's got these that you can actually stick paper inside, like English Math Science. You can stick paper inside of it. And this is from Tesco's last year, but you can find it in WH Smith this year and it's about three pounds that one is so next diary i love the print on this and it's just this floral diary and this is from the works and i actually seen this on just me sask's instagram or is it just say sass i'm not sure um and sask is a really good friend of mine and she told me what it's from and it's meant to be 7.99 and it's now 1.99 but that was back in what month we were in september so that was back in the start of august so it might not be in on the sale but it might still be in the shop and it's just got line pages and it's really like the pages are really decent and they're not thin cheap pages so i'd definitely pay 7.99 for this because it's amazing and the next like two items are stationary and I just picked up these because I didn't have any for this year and they are the Wilkinson's Four Slim Highlighters and they come in this little pouch which I think is super handy and it's got every colour, well four colours that I use regularly and these are super super good. If I need to like annotate anything, highlight anything, I'm just going to slap out my highlighters and I'm going to be super organised and next item is pens and these are just really cheap pens and they're by the brand pay for me and they're just these ones with the black lid and sometimes they pop or is it this side it pops oh, don't ask um 
and these are super good because you get about 15 in a packet and these are from Ryman's and they're really easy to write with and they have like this sculpt, sort of sculpted bit here um, so it's easy to grip with and I think this might sound really picky but the pen the glides on the paper so easy and these are just my number one favourite pens. So I've actually just thought that I haven't included two stationery items but I'd recommend getting some really cool pens like if you want to make your work a little bit fun I'd recommend getting these and these are the, the brand Strag... I struggled to say this before um, but it might focus actually. Is that focused? If not, it's spelled S T A E D T L E R. And these are the Ball 432. <laughs> I laughed about that in the video that I mentioned these. And they're like, these are not as good as the paper mate pens, like they don't glide on as easy. But these are the only pens that have like a variety of colours. So you've got a pink, a bright green, an orange, black, you've got all these colours. And the packaging is actually the exact same colour as what the pen comes out. Normally it's like, if you've got an orange, it'll probably be a light orange. These are exact same because I've tested them. I'm super picky about coloured pens and I love these. And they're from WH Smiths and I'm not sure about the price but they were on half price when I got them so I really like these. Next thing I'd recommend is mechanical pencils and these are by the brand Paper Mate again and these are from Ryman's I think. I think the and these are from Ryman's. I actually got some from WH Smith but then I thought these are really handy I need to get some more and they come in a pack about eight or something and these um, are the non-stop ones so they don't like the lead doesn't break when you're writing and you fold it like you wind it up at the ends like it's super handy and the rubber on the ends I'm really picky about the rubber it doesn't like break or anything it's really good quality and normally on these like the rubber would come out but it's got like a little plastic thing to secure the rubber inside so these are really good and they come in cute little colours so the next thing I would definitely recommend, and you don't have to get this brand, but I'd recommend getting hand sanitizer. If you're like on the go eating your lunch, you don't want to be eating with like germs on your hands, like you've been touching tables that other people like may have coughed on and not sneezed on, stuff like that. So you don't want to be eating with all these germs on your hands. So I'd recommend getting a um, hand sanitizer. And the ones I'd recommend are the body shop ones and these are £2.50 each which is kind of expensive because you can get some from Superdrug for 99p that that are my favourites as well but I've, these are a little bit better they're not as sticky um, and this one is the coconut hand cleanse gel and it's got no tri tri clunts tri clunts it's got no tri clunts I think that's how you say it um, and both of them don't and it says you can like use it on a plain family it says it's good for like plain use family eating and like dog walking stuff like that using touching pets um, and these smell amazing you would never find uh, and the only like place you'd find one similar to these are Bath and Body Works or maybe Lush because they smell amazing it's just, it's just like it's got a whole coconut in probably oh I don't even know how it can have coconut in because it's it's clear and coconut's white. I could eat this, literally eat it. And this one, oh, I could I could die if if I had to choose two favourite scents that I had to like shower in, <laughs> moisturising, exfoliating, I would do that in these scents. And the mango one I've sort of used already. It smells amazing and I think like you're getting two for five are basically kind of expensive but they are totally worth it and you're not getting ill from using these like getting germs in your mouth or anything and I also use these when I do my makeup in the mornings just to like cleanse my hands before and after um so these are really really handy and they're small so they fit in like your bag or like a pouch in the bottom of your bag the next thing is like a tip a basic tip and these are my beauty tips for school and I would recommend taking some lip balms like just in your pocket 
Because when your lips get super dry in school and then you start biting all the skin off, it's disgusting. And then lipstick the next day doesn't apply properly. Um, and then, so the ones I'd recommend are the Nivea Sun Protect. And I'd recommend this because it's got SPF 30 in. And it, I've got a bit of lipstick on it actually. And the only problem with mine, the problem was mine, I was like messing around with it. Um, to see how like far it would go and I accidentally knocked it so like the top comes out but if you didn't like mess around with it like me it, that wouldn't happen and it just looks like sun cream. The next one is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter formula and it's a moisturising lip balm and I would 100% agree with this. This is moisturising. Last year for school I had about three or four of these. I went through them so fast. Every like half an hour I was like I was just applying it and all my mates were like you're in love with that and this smells amazing it actually smells like the the body shop cocoa actually it smells like the body shop coconut hands cleanse gel and like hang on they smell the same and I'm in love with coconut at the moment and Oh. 